Hello, it's your boy Spit, and we're back with another video. What are we doing today? So this past weekend, we may have just witnessed the ANC burying themselves. Hey. Some very shocking events. Hey, but not. <laughs> <laughs> ANT might have just single handed single handedly buried themselves this Yo. past weekend. Hey, take. And you're gonna find out what we mean by that, right? Mm. But let's just check out this clip first. Yeah, please. And then you tell me what you think about it. Okay. Our only request, Your Excellency, is for the provincial government of KZN to emulate your example of respecting our king. A senior leader of the ANC in this province, Mr. Begim Tolo, who is in fact the... Besta lugu chisi si stoni upe usi ugu esegona. Shanga nkalu kale pansi, besta nzo tuli silu. We are ulimazo mthimbi omu uteganga aga we silu sasosutu. We are becoming clumsy and the ACs that are said with stoni pane uguti oga te pambi nga pambi wako be stoni pitu a government. So tell you what you silo, space, Samgele in Gonyama, Esestalwen, Jenka Manjin. Sindas. So, what are your thoughts on all of that? Oh my gosh, the disrespect. Okay, just for context here, for those, for those people who mm. are not understanding what's happening mm. here, right? So, there's an event that happened this past weekend in yeah. uh, KZN Ulundi. Yeah. I think uh, the royal family was there and the king yes. was supposed to be speaking in this event. Mm. And what happens, there's like protocols that need to be done before yeah. the, the king speaks. Yes. So, in order for the king to speak at an event, mm. you have his mouthpiece or his prime minister yeah. who has to um, introduce the king yes. to, to the... Um, to the, crowd to the crowd that he's yes. speaking to he mm. has to introduce the king to the crowd mm. and then after he introduces the king and then you have the singer the mm. person who sings in the yeah. clan name of the king mm. and then once all of that is done the praises then the, and the praises stuff. yeah mm. once all of that is done then the king can come up and speak to the people mm. that's the protocol the zulu nation or the zulu royal family follows mm. when the king needs to speak to the crowd mm. so in this instance here the the prime minister in the the prime yeah. minister which is the king's mouthpiece. He yes. speaks on behalf of the king most of the mm. time. He was he was reprimanding an ANC senior official yes. for poor conduct. Yeah. And this uh, ANC leader, Sponi Sotuma, yeah, stopped him from doing that. Mm -hmm. And in he turn, was like, "Hey, hold up, when I don't, you messing up." Yeah. Stuff, so huh? in turn, in turn. When when you stop the prime minister from speaking, yeah. you also stopping the king, the king from stopping. Absolutely, you, you, di you directly disrespect the Zulu king when you stop the prime Absolutely. minister. Absolutely. So with all of that, so Sponiso Duma's argument in this is that you are just supposed to yeah. introduce the king. The king. Don't yes. don't come here and speak yeah, don't all pay, your nonsense. Yeah, do what just, you were yeah, supposed you to must do. Come here and but do what don't you, you think do. they are at one like? the king and and, and the prime yes. minister are obviously of one they have discussed this before he's not gonna come yeah, there yeah. and, and speak his own thing mm. like they would have discussed this so literally like swanis is way out of hand there like way out of pocket like i also get where he's coming from with the whole like maybe this isn't the place to address it like you know what i'm saying like uh, you you really you even running things for us maybe you know i'm 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 thinking mm. like that he's putting them in a bad light already things on so great in case it didn't with the ANC and now you you also like this is not the time to do that but like you addressing it or you doing that is not fixing the problem like it's it's not helping the situation it's actually making it worse like mm -hmm. people in case then respect the king more than they respect the damn government yeah so i want to i want to get to that right? <gasps> so so for those who don't understand what's actually happening yes there, right the Ro the zulu royal family mm. is highly influential in case Absolutely. extremely influential extremely. so the zulu the zulu people the zulu nation 
still respect the royal yeah. family. Mm. They're still the royal family is still to most people absolutely the highest form of authority. It's the the in the royal in, family in then the government yes. to them. So if you disrespect the king, Eesh. you are disrespecting a whole people. nation of people. Mm. And just for context, mm. the Zulu nation or KZN mm. is the largest voter base in the country mm. currently absolutely. that's registered right now. And so do you understand knows. what that means? That means this one act could have alienated yes. the ANC's KZN vote. Yeah. Could have completely They were already them. walking with crutches in the, in the in KZN. They yeah. were already on crutches. They like they, I don't think they had the confidence still that your KZN is ours. So this has just made the situation even worse like uh, on top of like you 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 literally now scraping for votes and probably scraping for people within KZN this my friend is the last nail in the coffin i i don't i don't see i don't see them coming back from this yeah so i'm just trying to get people to mm. understand like mm. the zulu people are very traditional yeah extremely traditional people extreme hierarchy is respected Absolutely. and if you disrespect somebody who's higher up than you in the hierarchy mm. that's that's automatically a cause for violence so what happened in this situation here right. is when you when you take the mic away from yeah. the prime minister, mm. you're taking the mic away from the king. Yes. And this is and this is cause for war. Yeah. So what happened? What happened after all of this? People got beat up. People yeah. got hospitalized. People really? got assaulted. Yeah, I didn't know about that. Yeah. So my brother was there, yeah. and oh, he was yeah. telling me he was telling me the aftermath of all of yeah. this. Yeah. Because he did this and disrespected the king, yeah, the, things the, were bad. The people who supported the king and the royal family mm. were assaulting ANC members. Shallo, as <laughs> Mangan Zella, I will report to the province. Would you enter? Says Bule and Dugu. This is Bule and Katang and Dugu. I'm a complete man. Ning now got ten. Now got ten as a feel and Dugu. Now, I think it's a feeling to us as Petzl, a woman, Slandeo, and I have to issue a perspective. I will report to the province, it's Lalo Lendabale. Yeah, those news, which was very bad for us because we condemn the violence taking place in the province of Osmatal with the, the strongest term. We've just delegated the leadership of the region led by Comrade Mshomo just to go. Yesterday, there were 10 comrades who were badly injured. They were taken to hospital and some have already been discharged. We are busy with the investigation because we will want the law enforcement agents to be thorough on this investigation because our comrades were badly beaten by the IFP crew who were there. And fortunately enough, there were some police were around and the were leadership was still present at that particular function. And actually hospitalizing hospitalize them to that extent oh for disrespecting the, the, the Zulu nation. So they were actively fighting ANC members. Yes. So this, yeah. That's how bad this whole thing is. So it's not even just about him. You see how how far it went. It wasn't about like, oh, this guy just no. The ANC disrespected the king basically. And the people people were hospitalized. People were beaten up. And there's still mm. like ongoing tension now because of this act. Yeah. It's so bad, so that because Boniso is a Duma, yeah. the Duma clan now is the name is under distribute under distribute. Yeah. So the Duma clan, uh, the Duma clan, which is a Duma family, and the Zulu family had a good relationship yes. before this act. Whenever, whenever the Duma family were doing something, yeah, the royal family the royal would family send a representative would. there oh, and no. all of that stuff like that. But now. There's tension oh, now because no. of this one act. So now many Dumas, many people in the Duma clan yeah. are now trying to repair the, the actions of, of Sponiso Duma. So it's 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 very big in the context of KZN what he mm. did and disrespecting the king and his prime minister in the way that yeah. he did is borderline treasonous. You Ooh, see how nation. dumbfounded the prime minister <laughs> So what? It's like he did not believe what he seeing with his eyes. Yeah, he was like he was just like he didn't even like he was just like, are you serious? Like what? Yeah, and 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 after and after the the king gave his his speech, yeah, like, the prime minister went back up on stage and then he sang with Mabuto, which is yeah. like the, um, the soldiers of the yes. royal family. He sang with them to say, you must warn this chicken because he's eating too much yeah. now and. Now Yo. he could get slaughtered. You must warn him. 
Cause now he's he's acting out of pocket. Oh no! So, Spony Sutoma went on further to um, break no. went on further to uh he doubled down on what he was saying. He was he was recently interviewed and yeah he he doubled down and he said he that like, no. the prime minister is not recognized by the constitution and he wasn't even on the program in the first place so that's what, what are you what talking about but but do you recognize mr tulasi zobutelezi as the amazulu royal prime minister as appointed by the king Unfortunately, it's not our assignment. And if you understand the convention and the praxis of government in the constitution of our state, there is no recognition of a prime minister. Um, I, I just want you to understand that process that you go read the constitution in the, in the province of was not even at some point in time develop the KZN constitution just to tailor make the situation of a king. It, in our processes, in even our rule book, there is no recognition of a prime minister in the constitution. I would want us, even the country, just to understand those dynamics so that we are always dealing with the proper context of what is currently happening. But the weird thing is he's Zulu. Surely he doesn't understand protocol. Yeah, yeah, he's Zulu, so he should know. But how does he not know that? I think he's just playing politics. He's, yeah. Because yeah. he's trying to justify what he Or did. like making it... I'm not disrespecting the king or anybody mm. else. It was just him that I don't see. It was... I think he's just trying to justify what he mm. did. But the tragic thing, about, ow, ow, the tragic ow. thing about all of this is, it's like this is terrible for the ANC. You don't want to be for the Zulu royal family. You don't during an election. No, yeah. you don't. You don't want to do that because all it all oh it will take God. all it will take is for the Zulu royal family uh, to put out a statement to like say we're not they, voting for the ANC. I feel like. At this point, I actually feel like even the ancestors are mad at the NC, to be honest. <laughs> like, I, there's no other explanation of why things are just going so south for them, especially just before the elections. Clearly, even the ancestors want them out. Like, that's, like there's no other explanation. Even now, now it's going to be even worse, mm. I feel. There's no this other is, explanation. This is very bad. This is an own goal. Like the heavens want ANC out. It's not. It's not just people. It, 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 it's. It's gotten made that even even the universe is is fashioning things now. Yeah, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to get people to understand yeah. those, those who are not involved in. Yeah. Like the Zulu, or don't get the dynamics yeah, the, of the traditional Zulu politics. Yeah. Stuff like that. Like, this is terrible for the ANC. Like, like the ANC, this is the last thing that they wanted. Yeah. Like you don't want to beef with the most influential family mm. of the largest voter base in the country. No, you don't. You don't want to do that. No, you don't. Because you're going to lose hundreds of thousands, yes. if not millions of votes just by... Mm -hmm. this, this action alone could lose the ANC millions of, of votes. Of course. Just this action alone. Of course. People are going to be talking about it more and more in their homes. Mm. Yeah, this is, this is catastrophic for the ANC. And... And Sponi Sutuma is not helping himself by not showing any remorse. Yeah. Not saying he's sorry yes. for what he did. He's doubling down. He's, he's, he's actually um, disrespecting the prime minister even more by saying he's not recognized by the constitution. <laughs> like, you can't do things like that. I'm and insane. what makes it worse is that Sponi Sutuma is Zulu. So he really understands yeah. all these dynamics. The protocol. The hierarchy. The, hierarchy. the culture. Mm. What he's, he understands what he's doing and I think this is very dangerous for the ANC because why is he doing that I really wish I could understand this looks like self-sabotage yeah point. that's what I've been saying about the ANC I feel like they're really sabotaging themselves from inside eh? like yes, they, that's what I'm saying I, maybe it's got the ANC, something to do with the ancestors I think, I think, it I doesn't think make sense they've never so did this to themselves before like why this year like it's so bad that the leadership there is 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 literally like out of control people are just doing their own things yeah and you know they have to cover up for each other they have to lie for each other yeah. all the time 
it's just it's just gotten that bad mm, and this is God. terrible because mm -mm. all it takes is like one statement from the king himself mm. to say that the ANC are hey. not to be voted for and the whole Zulu nation will not vote for the ANC simple but funny so this is the biggest own goal ever, I know and most probably you will not be an ANC member mm. if the ANC loses millions of votes because of absolutely but anyway you guys let us know what you think about yeah this let situation. us know what a wow what a shock don't forget to like and subscribe and keep watching goodbye we'll check you guys in the next one